What's going on everybody? BC again. Uh, again, as you're watching this, I'm already traveling to Australia, but I want to make a particular video just to list off a few things for you uh, because again, uh, I'm the example when it comes to, especially in the space of sales and kind of real estate and that kind of stuff, of the result you can get or the benefits of putting yourself out there, doing video and all that. Now before I even continue, Number one, make sure that you get the X Factor as it's uh, released as this video is coming out. Uh, my website's in the description and also the ClickFunnels link as well. That product is probably the most intricate, deep, and best product I've created thus far. All right. When we open this door of new opportunity to social media, right? Because we live in an era now where you don't have to be discovered by Hollywood anymore or get a talent manager. You can literally start creating stuff on social media. Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, build an audience, create a big following, and now you're getting sponsored. Some of these people who are big on YouTube are on Netflix now and coming out in movies. So now you, in essence, from grassroots movement from the bottom, like Drake says, started from the bottom, now we're here, you become a star, right? A rock star, movie star, whatever it is, YouTube star. And people still don't get this, or they see it, but they're like, oh, well, they just got lucky, or they did it at the right time. Even if that was the case, that's not, but even if that was the case, what did they do? They turned the camera on and they put themselves out there, right? So the opportunity is there, is basically what I'm explaining to you. Now, this is where the next hurdle comes in. Not, maybe not having clarity with the opportunity, but secondly, this whole, ah, oh, well, I'm scared and all this stuff. You have to remember that there's two sides to every coin. Yes, it's scary. Yes, you'll have to confront a lot of your insecurities and demons. And I mean, some of you see the hate that I get. I mean, I don't give a shit. I could give a fuck, but you see it. But there's a, there's a proper exchange for that. Meaning, I put myself out there. I show the world my insecurities. I you know, show everybody the skeletons that I have in my closet. I open myself up to criticism. I invite it. I put myself out there more, right? I let myself be known to the world. Now that is risky in a sense because of the hate and criticism that you get and the self-improvement that comes from it, right? Because that can be a scary road and path for a lot of people. But at the same time, you look at the flip side. You always have to look at the other side of the coin. What's the other side of the coin? What literally you're watching. I'm about to share the stage for the second time with the Altman brothers, but with other people who got on the map and on the radar with TV, I did not. I am sharing the stage with them, I'm being recognized with them, I'm being held in the same light because of what I've done on social media. And what, what was the catalyst? Me turning a fucking camera on and doing this over and over and over again. Yeah, all the other stuff I've learned in the process and how I've grown has attributed to it. There's certain parts about me, how I do it, my personality, of course, that goes through the camera, hits people, and they're like, you know what, we love this guy. But go look! Even now, I still have old videos on my YouTube of me with fucking braces on, where you see the black bars on the side of the video, horrible 240, 360p quality, it's like a 10 second video, horrible, terrible videos. So I had every single excuse in the book that you have, oh, I don't have the right equipment, I don't know what to say, blah, blah, blah. That's how I started, that's how I started. But guess what, I figured it out. I had the fucking balls and courage to turn a camera on and do it. So I saw the opportunity before everybody else, because when I started, you know, 2000, into 2013, 14, in real estate and doing this online stuff and video, it wasn't as apparent as it is now, because you see a lot more people trying to jump on it. However, they don't make it, because the only reason that they're jumping on it is, oh, I want to get, real quick, I want to get famous. Uh-uh, that's the wrong way. But I could talk about that later in this video or in another video, all right? But ultimately, you're gonna be able to have every excuse in the book, sure, but that's the easy route to take. Everybody can sit in a fucking circle and give every single justification or excuse of why they didn't decide to do it. Of course. That's the easy way to do it. I wanna hear the story about you, somebody who followed me, or another person saying, man, everybody was telling me I couldn't do it, I was out in the street, but I decided to turn the camera on, start the journey, document it, and force myself to grow, to put stuff out there, and I let people follow me on my career. That's what I did. I said, you know what? I'm gonna do it the old school way in real estate and pick up and everything else. I'm gonna get out there, I'm gonna shake hands with people, I'm gonna knock on doors, I'm gonna cold call, I'm gonna cold approach, I'm gonna fucking make this shit happen. That's what I did. Look at all my old videos, follow my old posts on Instagram and Facebook, you see every single fucking day, I'm out here knocking doors, I'm out here making calls. 
it's still there. That's the beauty in video and Facebook and everything else. Every single thing you've done has been recorded. That's why all these pieces of shit that try to discredit me have no ground to stand on. That's why I'm still here. That's why I continue to grow. And that's great evidence for all of you who are starting, who are scared, or have some other excuse not to start. Because you can see what I've been through. You can see who I was before and who I am now. And there's no doubt that I've catapulted in every single category in my life. Absolutely. Sorry. Every single category. Everybody knows it. You see it. And you've been watching me. If you've been following me, I get messages all the time. Dude, I've been following you for two years, three years, four years. Whoa. Of course. There's no denying it. It's literally like a virtual diary, you can say. So you've seen what's possible already. And it's been proven scientifically that when you see somebody else do something that you want, it now bridges that gap in your mind. And now you know that it's achievable and you can go after it. Yet you will stop yourself because you're your biggest enemy. Again, I'm sharing the stage for the second time with the Alvin Brothers and now with somebody else from Million Dollar Listing. And they've given me shout outs and people said, oh, watch this guy. He's one of the new and up and coming guys. Why is that? Because I click record, because I click Instagram story, Facebook story. And all I do is commit a little bit of my time to doing it to social media. Now for all of you who say, oh man, social media is a full-time job. No, it's not. No, it's not. Even now making videos and doing little things takes very minimal time. The only difference is, is that I schedule it in my schedule because I take it serious. It's not a pipe dream. It's not something that I'm like, oh, well, I'll get to it when I get to it. No, it's prospecting, my team, training, social media, gym, read, and all the other stuff that I do, period. It's that simple. I schedule it in and I take it seriously as anything else. When you're committed to something, you figure it out. If that means you have to wake your ass up at five in the morning instead of seven to get in the social media and the gym and everything else, you do it. Now, if you tell me, oh, I try, I can't, bullshit. You just don't want it bad enough. Straight up. How many times when you were younger or when you had that event coming up, that speaking gig, that basketball game, that football game, uh, that concert where you were a player in it, you couldn't sleep the night before because you were excited and you woke up before your alarm clock. Well, why not set some goals and commitment for yourself that excite you like that? Oh, well, I can't do it. Bullshit. Yeah, you can. Of course you can. You're just not putting in any effort. Or you're living somebody else's life and you don't have enough courage and balls to say, you know what? I'm not going to live your life anymore. I'm going to live mine. So the goals of you wanting me to go to school or do this, I'm not going to do it. Bye. Now, this is where a lot of you step in and say, well, if I say no, I can't do that because my parents will kick me out. Okay, then go live on the street. Because if you decide to stay with your parents or live the comfortable option, don't come to me or anybody else complaining that, oh, well, uh, you know, I want to do this, but then I lose the roof over my head. Doesn't matter. That tells me you don't want your life bad enough. You would rather live somebody else's because it's more comfortable. It's really that simple. Now, I know this video has become more of a rant, but every once in a while I have to get it out. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> aside from that, Look at all these speaking gigs I'm doing. Look at what you see me doing with video, all these other events that I'm doing, right? Some of you may want to be entrepreneurial like me in the sense that you want to go out and speak, have your own office, maybe sell products, whatever it is. This is fun, man. Some people think like, oh man, that's all you do, but it's fun. This is super fun because I'm doing this and building a freaking top end real estate team. I'm literally living the vision that I had in my mind and it keeps expanding and it's malleable and it keeps growing and turning into other things. This is fun. I'm having the fucking time of my life. People talk about work-life balance. This is my life. It's like a canvas that I'm drawing. Everything is mine. I'm not incorporating different ones and saying, well, this is mine, but this is somebody else's. Uh -uh. I'm having a blast, man. I'm loving it. So what are you doing? And if you're not, what's your excuse? Figure it out, man. Figure it out. Because the longer you wait, the more difficult it's going to get. And then eventually you dig yourself in such a hole that you're like, fuck it, I'm going to be average. And then you live your life saying, well, I would have, blah, 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 and become the same old bullshit story that everyone else talks about. When you go talk to those older people who you can see that they're fucking miserable, but they claim that they're not. When you can see it in their fucking eyes and you taste it in their words. All right? That's it for this one. I'm done. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and as always, get on my Modern Success program. Anybody who's gone on Modern Success has seen exponential growth through the roof. Everybody who's on my Instagram Live, YouTube Lives, a lot of them are in the program. Ask them. Ask them and let them tell you. All right?
Make sure you share this one. And as always, Team BC.